evening and tonight remembering September 11th. We'll have some information on September 11th yesterday which was the sixth anniversary of the deadly attacks. Also this is our special anniversary show. It's our one year anniversary last Sunday of 24 News. It was actually called ABC 24 News at 8 p.m. Now we've moved to a new time, new name, and 24 Evening News with Marcus Haroon starts now. Marcus Rune and welcome to 24 Evening News. We do start tonight on our one year anniversary of 24 News with your headlines remembering September 11th victims that bowed their heads in silence Tuesday to mark the moment at exactly six years earlier when hijacked planes crashed into the World Trade Center, the Pentagon, and at Pennsylvania Field. The dreary skies created a grim backdrop and a sharp contrast to the clear blue of that morning in 2001. And a quote, That day we felt isolated, but not for long and not, for e and not from each other, Mayor Michael Bloomberg said as a ceremony took place, and six years have passed, and, your, and our place is still by your side. Construction equipment now fulfills the vast city block where the World Trade Center once stood, work underway for four new towers forced the ceremony to be moved away from the Twin Towers footprints and into a nearby park for the first time. As people's clutch frames photos of their lost loved ones, Kathleen Mullen, whose niece Kathleen Casey died in the attacks, said the park is close enough. Just so long as we can continue to do something special every year, so you don't wake up and say, oh, it's 9-11, she said. In another news now, oil prices rose to new record settlement price Tuesday as trades, traders turned their attention to Wednesday's inventory report by the government, expected to show that tough supplies and shrugged off OPEC's decision to boost output. Light sweet crude for October delivery rose 74 cents in a settlement at $78.23 a barrel on the New York exchange after altering between gains and losses. The settlement price beat the previous record set in July 31st by two cents. And in other news, New York flight was diverted Tuesday to Shannon, Ireland after a passenger became disruptive, officials said. Transportation Security Administration spokesman Christopher White said the Federal Air Marshal aboard Delta Airlines Flight 73 restrained the disruptive man and the pilot, then decided to divert the plane. The plane landed in Shannon at 6.15 p.m., 1.15 p.m. Eastern Time, and the man was taken to a hospital, and White, who did not know what the injuries of the man had been suffered or his nationality. In other news now, President Bush is prepared to embrace the recommendation of the top commander in Iraq and withdraw as many as 30,000 U.S. troops by next summer, senior administration officials said on Tuesday. Bush ordered nearly 30,000 additional troops to Iraq in January in an effort to pacify Baghdad and its surrounding provinces amid rampant sectarian and insurgent war war warfare. General David Petraeus, the chief of U.S. and the Allied forces in Iraq, told Congress this week that the first of those units could be sent home in late September, with the rest returning by mid-July 2008. And finally tonight, on our anniversary, some beneficial rain will be putting it together, and we could pick up as much as an inch of rain as the day goes along. It has since an inch of rain has fallen on in one single day along the shore on August 8th in the Hartford area July 28th. Drizzle will give way to some heavier showers as the day moves along and we could have a thunderstorm. Then the dry weather returns. Skies will clear overnight with the fair weather throughout the rest of the work week. The next chance for showers will be during Friday night or Saturday. 
For tomorrow, Thursday, mostly sunny, pleasant, highs in the 70s. Friday, sun and clouds, highs in the 70s. Saturday, showers, then some clearing, highs in the upper 60s. Sunday, sunny, highs in the upper 60s. Well, on our anniversary show, I'd just like to thank everyone, everyone who has ever helped, especially my family, my brother, my mom, my dad, my grandparents, my BB, everyone who has helped me any time with this show, other reporters, Alex, Nick, Nino, everyone that has helped throughout this first year, Colleen and Brad, they are one of the biggest help for weather and sports. I know I've been doing it lately, but before they've been working on it really hard. Brad still likes to update the website and Colleen does too. So, that's it for tonight. I'm Marcus Rune, 24 News. Have a great week, everyone. For 24 News Now podcast delivered straight to your iPod, go to iPod.24NewsNow.com or you can search in iTunes. For more news, weather, sports, and our 24-hour live channel, visit 24newsnow.com.